Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm going to do a coin review. I said in one of my previous comments that I was going to be doing a review at a historic site. This is it. Um, for those who don't know, it's Trim Castle here in Ireland. Um, they filmed Braveheart here. I've got a bit where I'm, where I'm standing now. I'm going to turn around. You can see this impressive structure. Um, I'm going to spin it around now. There it is. Now we're actually going to go inside. I've also brought a bit of silver with me today, so I'm going to do a coin review while I'm actually here. Uh, we're going to head inside. This is the oldest part of the actual castle. Uh, and funny enough, that's, that structure just behind me here, that is where the, uh, the castle was used in the film Braveheart. Or the, the part of it, they actually, they actually created a, uh, a set structure on the right here where this empty space is. So they used this section here, and then they created a whole new area on this side to replicate uh, the... Uh, the city of York, or the castle of uh, the castle of York, at that particular time, we had just behind me here. We had Wallace and his men. They came round from this side. You'll see it in the movie. You'll see them come down, and then they'll sh they'll shoot to this particular area here. Uh, so what they've done is they've done uh, they've added some wooden structures along the top here. There's the main entrance here. They've they've when you s just go and take a look at the movie, and you'll see this, and you'll see this behind me. But uh, let's go and, let's go and take a closer look. We're going to go inside. Um, and then I'll do that coin review as well while I'm actually here. Um, it's, it, this particular castle dates back from the early 11th century. It's about 11, 1170. Hugh, Hugh de Lacey, who was a big buddy of the, of the king at that particular time, had permission to uh, build the castle. He built this. I'm just going to see if we can try and get a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to turn the, uh, the camera the other way around. That way we can actually get a, uh, a proper look. I'll catch, with you, catch up with you guys shortly. As you guys can see, it's probably one of the, I wouldn't say one of the most complete uh, structures, um, probably date back to that sort of period that are, that are still standing in, in remarkable shape. Uh, this is the original entrance of the castle. So when the castle was first built, we're, we're gonna go through the, the newer entrance, only because the ticket office is there, there's no ticket office on this side. Uh, this whole area around me here would have been surrounded with a wooden kind of stockade that would have had a, uh, I think they call it a barbican or something like that. You'd have to look it up. This whole area would have been would have been surrounded with a wooden with a wooden structure. And then we have the the castle keep. We're not going to go in there in this particular episode. Let me know if you guys want me to go in. I'd be prepared to to go in there and show you guys around. It's pretty cool. They put a roof on it as well to to stop the uh, the water. Uh, destroying the structure so it's quite dry inside it's, it's very very impressive we're gonna head round to the uh, the main entrance now um, I'll catch up with you guys shortly hey guys uh, just again here's some pictures of the set uh, you can see there that was the improvements that was obviously the gate they're, they've actually put some tops on there as well I think that might have been digitally done but uh, pretty interesting all the same you can see there that was the two gates I was talking about so that's the existing structure and then that's the new structure that they added on and there's another, there's another shot as well. Oh, let's go inside. Hey guys, um, this is the modern entrance, or the, uh, I think it was about 20 years later they built the south entrance. This is it here. Now remember, Trim back in its day was surrounded by a moat. Obviously that isn't the case now. So where I was walking earlier, all that green area, that would have been uh, totally, uh, totally covered in, in, in water. But uh, let's go check it out. You can see the extent of the curtain wall. And then we've got the main gatehouse over here. Hey guys, uh, I'm, in the, uh, I'm in the castle grounds as we speak, so have a look at the, uh, the big keep there. Just behind me, we've got the gatehouse that came out through on that side there. The, uh, the, old, the old gatehouse would have been down there. I'm gonna do a coin review in a sec. I'm gonna do it in the old mint, which is uh, right over there. So I'm going to do a, uh, I thought, why not, let's let's do a coin review in the old mint. We used to mint um, English coins back then, obviously we weren't called Britons back then. Uh, it was predominantly England that controlled the uh, majority of the power. Um, obviously the Union in Scotland and that only came much later on, along with Wales. But uh, yeah, have, have a look, uh, fantastic. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite sites, I used, to, I used to live in Trim. Uh, I moved, moved down to Trim last year, um, I'm now living about half an hour away 
but um, it's a fantastic place. If you guys ever make it to Ireland, you've got to come to Trim Castle. Trim was considered the, uh, the, the, the capital of Old Ireland back in the day, so uh, when I mean Old Ireland, you know, we're talking Middle Ages. Uh, early early Middle Ages because uh, there was a big center there. If you have a look just behind me here There is a right here Talbot's Talbot's Tower Those who know English history Talbot is the scourge of the French uh, When Henry uh, during Henry the fifth time we've also got Talbot's castle, which is over here. It's been obviously recently redone. It's now a home uh, but um, let's take a, Another look through the grounds. I'm going to switch the camera over shortly and we'll do a few more shots of the grounds There you go, that might give you a better perspective. <laughs> um, it's it's a really big site. Uh, we've got some more, we've got the curtain walls running next to me just, of, just over here. Um, it's a pretty amazing that they used this in the movie and they were able to do two different shots. Because I think they used the, the, the gatehouse that was used for something else in the movie. And then we've got the uh, the older gatehouse which they used for the replica of, uh, of, of York. But um, I'm gonna do some more shots now. Thanks guys, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, so we can have a look at the extent of the curtain wall going around. Uh, the main uh, gatehouse tower there, you can see there's a sort of a small moat structure here. And then we've got the, the impressive keep. You guys uh, in America probably don't see any of this. <laughs> probably all the structure is probably the forts uh, that, uh, that were probably set up. Take another look around. Here we go. There's some close-up uh, images of uh, that would have been a tower supporting structure, uh, and then we've got the curtain wall across here. You can see how um, how the how the wall's been picked away at. Obviously, during the course of the many years, they might have removed some rock and used it for something else, as they often did. You can see there that would have been the entrance to the curtain wall, which ran across here. You can see some of it up here that went along. That would have been the original height. Not this stuff down here. This is all. This, that, that's exactly how the wall would have actually appeared. Uh, but obviously, it's been uh, some of the rocks been removed, reconstituted for other purposes. All right, so there we go. That's the that's the keep. We're going to go over to the mint in a minute, and then we'll do that corner view as well. Uh, I was just thinking. I managed to get down here early enough. There's not too many people around. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm comfortable filming while there's loads of well, while there's loads of people around. So uh, it's an absolute pleasure to share this with you guys. Thank you for uh, my supporters, the um, my subscribers, the guys who uh, comment, like a lot. I certainly appreciate all your support. Thank you very much. Um, I'm thinking of doing this as a new series as well, um, doing corner views at historic sites uh, throughout Ireland. Um, hopefully, weather dependent, of course. Uh, there's another shot there. So we've got that. That's the that's the gatehouse we came in from. Uh, that's one of the towers. Oh, that, that's the Barbican Gate, so that would have, would have been the original gate over there. There's a tower here. And funny enough, in the corner, I'm pointing to here, that would have been where the ladies would have stayed. And that would have been the warmest part of the uh, the entire grounds. They call it the Solus. They would have had a separate building just for them. And then we've got the Mint over here. All right, let's look at some coinage. So what do we have here? I've got the two dragons. Let's see if I can focus here. Yeah. I picked this up, um, it must have been about a couple of weeks ago when I got my, my big batch, uh, 25 ounces. Um, I think it's a fantastic piece. It's made by the Royal Mints in, in, in Wales. This is their, their, commemorate their 50 years or something of, of minting um, at that particular site. Um, it's got the Chinese dragon on it, which is at the top, and then you've got the Welsh dragon that's on the bottom here. Um, the dragons apparently in Chinese culture... Um, have something to do with the elements they can control elements and are a symbol of strength um, that's probably why the welsh use the uh, the dragon as well um, we have one ounce fine silver 999 2018 on the back we've got queen elizabeth the second uh, two pounds obviously face value coin uh, i've got it encapsulated as well very nice piece. I don't know if you guys have considered getting this. Strange enough, when I looked at the Royal Mint site this morning, um, they had the same piece. I bought this for, I think it was just over 20 euros. Um, I just liked the design of it, and I was like, yeah, I think I've got to have that. When I looked at the Royal Mint site um, this morning, they had this coin going for £37, excluding VAT, so probably over £40. So uh, I managed to get it for €21, euros, which was fantastic in comparison to what they're selling for it online so it obviously has um, some kind of collectible value to it 
Um, and I must admit that detail with the Chinese dragon is, it looks fantastic. Uh, the Welsh dragon as well, very nice, very sharp angular lines on it. It's a very nice coin. Let me know what you think in the comments there. Uh, please like, hit that subscribe button as well. I'm going to be trying to do a few more of these videos. Let me know what you think, whether the, whether I should um, do more of these videos. I certainly appreciate your feedback, guys. Thanks so much. And thanks. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video.